So on top of the club premiums and the 25 cent premium, some of the key aspects of the program I'm going to go through today that we try and work with club members. So number one, genetics. Genetics has a huge role to play within 2020. We work closely with the dairy farmers in the club to ensure that they're producing a valuable calf with good beef merit that the beef farmer can purchase from them and this animal will go on to perform on their farms. The commercial beef value is a very useful tool that ICBF have recently launched. This focus solely on the beef traits and the beef merits of the individual calf. It's very hard to tell by looking at a young baby calf what their beef merit is going to be and how they're likely to perform in the future. So the commercial beef value puts a focus on this. It doesn't look at calf and ease or gestation length like other indexes. It just solely looks at the beef merits. Another very useful tool is the ICBF web app and we have our own 2020 section within this where all our beef farmers have access to this app and they're able to view calves for sale and look at the commercial beef value of each individual calf. We are noticing massive difference in performance based on the animal's genetics. We see a lot of difference even within breeds and definitely across breeds. So it's important that farmers are using the right genetics day one to produce a calf that is most likely to perform well for the beef farmer right away through to finish. The second area we put a huge focus on is grassland management. We feel working with farmers within the club there's huge potential especially on beef farms to improve the grassland management side of things. The first thing we look at is your soil nutrient management. Taking soil samples is very important or looking at most recent soil samples Putting a nutrient management plan in place then based on what your soil needs and what soil structure you have available to you. It's very important that this year more than ever with the cost of fertilizer increasing to correct your soil pH and get the highest value of the nutrients that's applied to your soil. Another key area of grassland management is smart positioning of water trucks. By positioning the water trucks in the correct locations in the field, this allows you to break up your fields into smaller areas and allowing that ground to recover with a minimum of three weeks rest. This will improve the quality of the grass that you're feeding to animals and it'll also improve the quality of the organic matter that's in the soil. By breaking paddocks down into smaller locations, you'll have much higher quality grass coming back. The animals will be self-fertilizing that ground and will also be able to walk back any dead material that's in the ground back into the soil which helps to build up the level of organic matter in the soil. Focusing on grass and management has a huge impact on the overall performance and profitability in the beef system. Grazed grass is the cheapest feed source we have available and we need to be utilising this as much as possible. The difference between good management of grass and poor management of grass can be the difference of over 100 kilo of live weight gain over that grazing season. Animals should be targeting kilo of live weight gain on grass, whereas if you have older swarts or poorer quality of grass, they may only be doing 0.5 a kilo. Over a grazing season, this can amount to over 100 kilos of live weight gain. Also, good grass and management will help you make better quality silage. Or now look at multi-species swarts that is getting more popular and they're shown to be performing very well with low levels of chemical fertilizer. The third most important area is nutrition. Within the nutrition is calf rearing. When that calf goes to grass, we expect that to have high intakes of grass and hit their allocated live weight gain of 0.8 to 0.9 of a kilo a day. The second most important stage of the nutrition where we support our team members is over that first winter. We will test the silage with club members and advise them on what they need to supplement the silage they have available to them to make sure them animals are hitting 0.7 of a kilo of live weight gain over the growing stage in the first winter period. The third most important area within nutrition is the final finishing stage. We need to target an 80 to 100 day intensive finishing period to make sure that animal is hitting their full potential and is maximising all the grades and fat scores that they can. It's important that animals are at the right live weight before we go into that intensive finishing period. So it's important to make sure that we are getting that animal to the right live weight as cheap as possible before we hit that 80 to 100 day intensive finishing stage. At this stage, the Keypack team will come in and select those animals for slaughter 
to make sure that we're hitting all the grades. The fourth key area that the Glambia Technical Team are putting high focus on a farm is animal health. All club members should have an animal health plan in place and a vaccination programme in place. A healthy calf will always thrive well if your calf is unhealthy, no matter how well they're fed and how well they're bred, they will never perform to their full potential. The 2020 technical team is available to all our club members. For more information or to avail of this support, get in touch with any of the 2020 technical team or your Glambia local representative.